Did you know there was a joystick in your sense hat? And if you did, did you know how to use it? No? No worries, today all your questions are going to get answered. Hello everybody, I'm Sain Gupta, founder at 10 Coder Kids, and let's get started with the code. So guys, let's get started with the code. But for those of you, you who did not know where the joystick is, so I want to show you. This over here is a lovely, lovely joystick, right? So just showed you where is the joystick, right? Now let's start with the code. First of all, as we do from Sinsat, from Sinsat, ah, import sense hat so if you don't have the sense hat really repeating myself once again um you have to give sense emu and everything will work fine for you on the sense emulator next what you need to do you will have to uh, define a sense object so sense is equals to sense hat right so you, that it will be an object of the class you just import it right right so next word if there's anything on your sense hat just clear that nice right so if there's anything in the sense hat just clear that so what next define these four functions over here right we're uh, testing this with uh, uh, with uh, a little bit of fun stuff right this is gonna be a little bit fun so what will happen when the joystick turns left up down or uh, right then we will change the color on our sense uh, what we say display right so on the uh, leds if like for example if we uh, pull the joystick up then it uh, will change the color to red if we uh, pull the uh, joystick down we'll change it to blue if we pull it left we'll change it to green if we pull it right we'll change it to yellow and if we just press it in the middle then we will change it back to normal this is gonna be pretty pretty cool pretty damn cool so you have to create these four functions it is just doing sense.clear and a specific rgb color so red is doing sense.clear 255.00 that is to uh, in rgb format that is like 255 is like um, a red, uh, 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 rgb red green blue so we are setting red to max red max then zero zero so we want full red in blue we want full blue like rgb so b stands for blue right so full blue then in green it is full green like it's rg so green green is full green and then yellow yellow is made with full red and full yellow right so a very bright yellow is made with full red and full green right uh, that makes a yellow but if you want a dullish uh, dull shade of yellow you can just reduce both this and this r and g so now what we'll do the logical thing to do is to listen for the events so what uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna listen for the events so we're gonna do sense dot stick dot direction up so whenever our stick so called stick or joystick is moved up then the callback is red the red method for it so this we are doing equals red so this is a callback now red is a callback so whenever it is direction up call red whenever it is direction down just call blue whenever it is direction left then call green whenever we move it to direction right then move or uh, do it yellow and whenever it is direction middle meaning if we press it in the middle then do it just do sense dot clear and notice one thing we are we don't give the brackets over here 
in any method we don't give bracket over here that's because this is a callback then this will be called whenever an event occurs it will if we just give brackets over here it will call it will be called here right and whatever is the return value from the function will be assigned to direction dot uh, 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 will be assigned to the event right but there is no return value so um, undefined will be assigned to it nothing will be assigned to our event so it won't work right so um uh so now we have set the events but this won't still work because the program will terminate as soon as everything is over right it will not keep on running right so to keep it running what we'll do we'll do while true and we can't just leave the while loop empty to keep the program running we have to give something so we'll just give pass pass is just logically saying that keep the while loop empty so now if i save this okay so since that y t replace and if you come over here and if i run this right can't see anything because when i move the joystick then so now i'm going to move the joystick up uh, so i moved it to the right right so on the right it gives us yellow on the left it uh, gives us green as i did uh on the down it gives us blue okay so the up one is not working change dot stick the direction up let me just check with this so if i try this now okay nothing is working so the up one is not working let me just check since dot direction up there must be a reason why it isn't working middle just deletes the whole thing okay just you in a sec so oh apparently i misspelled middle and because of that the up direction was not working don't know why but okay Okay. <laughs> so now if I try this, the up direction is working, the right direction is working, the left direction is working, and the down direction is working. And if I press this in the middle, it stops. Very very cool. Now what if we need to do? What do we need to do to um like uh, know what event is happening and what action is actually happening, right? we also want to know what action is happening and what event is happening like where it is going down up and everything so we want a view of it right how it looks right how uh, how it handles how is the action like if it is released or what is happening right so we want to know that so what we are going to do this is very easy over here so i'll take you back to the code right so what you need to do we'll just for now delete this code over here right i'll just undo it and over here what you need to do for event in since dot stick dot get events right so for event in since dot stick dot get events i'll uh, explain everything in a sec you have to do print event dot direction and event dot action right 
so this will print you uh, print us the direction where the joystick was moved and how, how was how, how what was the state was it released or whatever right so now if i take you over here run this now if i do this up okay what is happening i didn't stop the previous program sorry run now if i try this up you see up pressed and then when i released it it showed us up released now if i do down down pressed and then when i released it it showed down released now if i hold to the left so it showed us a left held left held for a long time it showed us left pressed then it i held it and then finally i released it right and then right i'm doing the same for right so right pressed right held and then right released pretty pretty cool right so we kind of created a working project that toggles uh, that uh, changes the lights a whenever there's an action on the joystick we created an event list uh, showing ourselves what what events are uh, what is the direction getting the uh, direction and actions of the events but the main thing we did right now in this video is that we listened for those events and then we uh, when it was up then we changed the color shown on our sense side to some other color so this was very very interesting guys i hope you guys liked the video if you did please don't forget to smash the like button and share this video with as many people as you can thank you guys bye stay safe stay healthy and keep watching my videos